Today we will be making art inspired by kachinas. Here are some examples of kachina dolls. A kachina is an ancestral spirit of the Pueblo Indians. There are more than 500 of these spirits and they act as intermediaries between humans and the gods. Here's some more examples of the kachina dolls. Each tribe has its own kachinas, which are believed to reside with a tribe for half of each year. And here are more examples. Today we are going to make our own kachinas. For this project, we will be using some scissors. We'll also be using some stick glue. I have a background paper that we'll use to put our project on. I prefer kind of tall and thin. Um, if you want to, you can add feathers. That's an optional um, addition to the project. And then I have lots of different colors of paper. This is just construction paper. They don't have to be very big, so you could actually use maybe scraps from other projects you've done in the past, because we'll just be using lots of little pieces. I also have some pictures of kachinas that I will be looking at. So it may help maybe to print some off or even just to have like a computer open with different kachina dolls on it. Um, that really helps with getting ideas for shapes and things that you can add to your project. Okay, so to begin, I wanna start with the basic shapes of the kachina um, so I'm going for like the body shapes and it's actually going to be kind of boxy. I mean, they're not um, very human-like because these people, these kachinas have all kinds of stuff on them. So um, I'm going to come up with this bottom section for the waist and it almost looks kind of like a skirt, which it would be kind of like a, a skirt or a robe that would cover the bottom half. And then the top half is also just going to be kind of a, a similar shape, just maybe the opposite. So both of these basically are trapezoids. They've got a parallel top and bottom, but then the sides angle in just a little bit like that. So, I mean, very, very basic shapes, keeping it very simple. For the head, you could either do like a circular head, like an actual true circle. You could do a semi-circle, or you could do a rectangle. Um, I'm gonna keep mine very simple and go with a rectangular design. And then some of the kachinas have like a, a big headdress on top of their head as well, so you could add paper for that. I think I'm just gonna use feathers for the top. Now I'm noticing that my body is a little bit too long for my paper because I do want room for feathers and for feet. So I'm just trimming these down a little bit and keeping the scraps. I may use them um, later on in my project. Okay, very basic shapes. Head, torso, waist. Okay, very, very simple. I'm trying to keep it nice and easy. Next, I'm going to add some legs. And to do this, I'm just gonna cut out a small rectangle and then I will divide it in half to make two legs. That will go under the, the waist. And then the feet are also just gonna be rectangles as well. So I'm really trying to simplify the shapes, keep it nice and basic. We'll get a little bit fancier with some of the designs that we add on top. I just want a nice solid foundation for my kachina. So you can see all of this is just stacked nicely. I haven't glued any of it down because I do want to make sure that it all fits nicely. Um, and then I think one more thing I want to cut out is a robe, um, kind of like a cape that my kachina will wear. You could do arms as well, and those would probably be just a series of rectangles, or if you wanna have kind of a robe that wraps around your kachina, you could do that. So for the robe, I'm making kind of a very tall trapezoid, and then I'm cutting it in half, and I will add some on either side of my kachina's body. 
keeping it nice and simple. So this is a great start. I've got all of my basic shapes. I do think I'm going to add some feathers in on the very top of my kachina, kind of coming out from behind the headdress that the kachina has on. So I'm gonna keep those on there as well. And now I'm going to glue my basic shapes down. Now I did speed this up just a little bit just so that we can kind of keep moving. Notice I'm throwing a little bit of glue on the black paper, my background paper, just to kind of help the feathers stick. And then I'm sticking part of the head on top of the feathers too, just to give them a nice solid um, place to stay on this page. I'm trimming anything that needs to be trimmed and then we'll be gluing all of the other pieces down. Now, one of the reasons that kachinas are so special to me is that um, I actually grew up in Arizona. And of course, as a child, um, we studied a lot of the Native American tribes from that area, the Pueblo, the Navajo, the Apache, um, et cetera. And it was very neat to learn about all the different customs and traditions that they had, about the different art that they did. And um, my aunt and uncle, who lived just north of Phoenix, um, actually were big collectors of the Kachina dolls. And people from the tribes would um, create these beautiful dolls of different kinds of Kachinas. And then um, my aunt and uncle would uh, buy them and then they would kind of find homes for them as well. So I know my parents got really interested in collecting these dolls and we had a whole collection in our house as well where we would um, have this big shelf and we'd have all of these different kachina dolls displayed across like the top part of the shelf and i want to say gosh at one time we probably had maybe 10 to 12 of them and each one being maybe like anywhere from i don't know maybe six or seven inches tall to the biggest ones being maybe close to two feet tall like very large uh, with all of the feathers and the fur and everything so just beautiful works of art done by the people of the tribes and um, just beautiful pieces to have in our in our home on display so whenever i see a kachina it kind of takes me back to having those in my home and I always loved looking at them and touching them. Some of them you could even take the headpiece off and you would see um, the person's face underneath. So that was really neat too. So as you can see, I'm just starting to add some little details. Um, I added some eyes, I added mouth. I'm adding some different elements on the torso or the chest of the kachina. I added a little bit of detail on the legs and it's all just little pieces of paper and pretty basic simple shapes lots of rectangles um, you can add some curve shapes but basically anything that will add some interesting details to my kachina so now i'm cutting out two little circles that i can use on the eyes for the kachina right in the middle of those black rectangles and basically just thinking, okay, what can I do with this basic shape? How can I dress it up just a little bit? And remember, I'm looking at some pictures of kachinas um, to get my inspiration. So I'm looking at some patterns that they use, um, the colors that they use, kind of the placement of where these things would go. And I'm just adding more and more to my kachina. I'm using some things from different kachinas, but I'm also making it my own, my own creative design. So as you build your kachina, as you add your colors and your shapes, try to see what you can do to make it look even fancier. What patterns can you use? What colors can you use? What shapes can you use to really make it come to life? Now my robe was kind of getting lost 
with the um, bottom, like the skirt part of the kachina. So I decided to add these black lines just to kind of help divide it a little bit so you can tell where the robe starts and where the rest of the body stops. So that way it kind of makes it a little bit fancier. gluing my robe around the edges of my kachina. You can see that I am putting it a little bit outside of the kachina's body um, and head so it makes it gives them more of like shoulders um, than what he had before. And then I feel like the robe is still a little bit too boring or basic so um, I'm going to add a couple other things to decorate that. Um, notice I'm putting ears on the head. Anytime that you're cutting out two things, uh, fold the paper in half like this, and then you can be cutting out um, two of the exact same shape at once. Saves time and also makes your project symmetrical, meaning the same on both sides. All right, I'm liking how that is looking. So an optional step at the very end would be just to add some small details with a Sharpie. And you, I could have left my kachina just as it was, but I thought it'd be interesting just to add maybe a couple of, of extra little elements just to give it a little bit more detail. Um, so I'm just adding some lines um, some dots, some shapes with my Sharpie. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to make it too crazily detailed, but I did think it would be a little bit more interesting to have just a little bit more uh, detail with my Sharpie. So for example, I'm, I'm adding some dots around the eye shapes just to give it some additional detail on the face. You can see I added lines on my ears. I added lines on the mouth of the kachina. I'm just kind of thinking, okay, what else could I do to add interest to this design? Um, my paper here doesn't go all the way to the top, so I was thinking, okay, maybe I could do something there. Um, maybe I will add some stripes along the waist of the kachina. Maybe I will add some dots here in the bottom half of the kachina. I could maybe add an outline to some of my shapes just for a little bit of added emphasis. So I'm doing that on the robe. I wanted to mimic the shape that's on the skirt part of the robe with the outside edges of the robe so that there's some repetition there. Add an extra line by the feet to give those some additional details along the bottom of the, the skirt part. Added extra lines there and then because there's a gap up here on the top part of the kachina, um, I'm outlining those and then I'm just gonna color in a square on the top just to kind of cover up those gaps. I didn't quite cut my pieces long enough so you can kind of tweak that. And I think that's it. I am happy with how my kachina looks and we'll call it a finished masterpiece. So I hope you guys have fun with this project. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with as well. Have fun creating your very own kachinas.